Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. Today we're going to talk about the Steel Yard Boss MM56 Cultivator and more. This is a very cool tool. This is something Steel's had out for years. It started out as the MM55 and just in the last few years became the MM56 updated engine technology. We'll talk a little bit about that. But this is more than just a cultivator. This can be an edger a small aerator, a dethatcher, right? A springtime dethatcher, a sweeper, a string trimmer. I think I'm missing something. We'll talk about that a little bit. I don't have every attachment here, but we're going to give you a little bit of a visual aid. But before we get into that, let's look at some of the things that make this unique, that set it apart from the other mini cultivators or mini rototillers out there. One is, is the handle design. So I'm going to start kind of at the top and I'll I'll work my way down. So this handle design, this folding up from the bottom versus folding down from the top, right? A lot of them, my handles come up and they fold down and my hands are about that far apart. This is a much wider grip folding up and it's very easy to maneuver and to pull back. If you've ran one of these small machines, depending, you know what, no matter whether it's a Mantis or a Honda or a Steel or, or some other off-brand machine, you've learned that the tines are spinning forward and in order to really dig, I pull backwards. And when I pull backwards, those cat's claws, those tines grab into the dirt and really just start churning it up. So I love this handle design. It's very comfortable, very easy to use. The throttle is, is simple. I can vary that throttle. Quick and easy to fold. Loosen this. Yeah, sure, huh? That's what I say. This uh, bolt is currently jammed in there. Okay. Quick and easy to fold for storage or transportation. Maybe you want it to take up less space in your garage. Maybe you need to put it in the minivan or compact SUV to bring it into the dealership or bring it over to a friend's place to help them do some gardening at their place. So we got that quick, easy fold handle. Moving down, this is called an MM56. That 56 may sound familiar to you. Maybe you're like 56. We'll check it out. This, as I get caught on it, is the same engine as the FS56. So if you know how to run this, we know how to run this. Let me put this back here a little bit. We have an always on stop switch. We have our choke hiding right here, or our primer hiding right here. And then our choke on the front and it has the easy start. So I can put my foot on this wheel, put my hand here and pull the rope, or I can put my hand here and pull the rope. Because of that easy start, it's just gonna be super simple to pull and to fire that thing up. This has the optional wheel kit on it, which I think is really cool for pushing it out to the garden, which I think is really cool when I'm running some of the implements, some of the attachments, which I'll show you in a minute but it really is in the way when I want to run this through the garden. Because remember, I want to pull this backwards in order to really dig deep. So if I loosen this wing knob right here, see how that works? I just folded those up out of the way, and now I have the weight of the engine and the machine sitting on the tines. So it's going to dig better, and then when I pull backwards, I'm not going to have these wheels in the way. Make sense? Speaking of tines, these are kind of a funky finger tine, something that's not a traditional bolo L tine like a rototiller would run. There's all kinds of different angles to that. So it really digs into, cultivates, breaks up that soil better than a traditional L tine, especially when we don't have the weight behind it. And we're running a high speed gearbox, somewhere around 250 RPM. So really churns that dirt up, pushes that compost down into the soil. Let me fix these wheels. Let me put these wheels back into a decent position there. So there's about probably 15 different spots where I can put these wheels to kind of match operator comfort and height. So I want to use this for something else. If it's an edger, I would pull that pin and I'd pull the pin on this side and I would slide off all of the tines and I would put a wheel on one side, whoop, a wheel on one side, and my edger blade on the other. Or if it was the aerator, it's a slit aerator, right? So they look a lot like this, but they're actually perfectly straight. I would put those on and put the pins in place. 
Here's something that is a cool tool, especially when snow comes around or you need to clean your lawn up. So I'm out there working in my yard the other day. Wouldn't you know it, the county, hey, I like my county workers, but they decided to come by and sweep my road. Guess what's all over my front yard? Small rocks, small pieces of gravel. So I was out there with my granddaughter and we were picking up rocks. You know what would have been much easier is to put a sweeper on to my steel yard boss. So this is just half of it, but I can put a sweeper attachment onto my steel yard boss. This is a great way to clean the gravel out of my yard, backfill a trench. Maybe I've got some heavy moss. Maybe I've got snow in the winter. This all of a sudden becomes not just a gardening tool, but a multi-season tool that can do all kinds of things. Check this out. Let's check out the next attachment. The next attachment is going to require me to use a tool. You see, saw how that was toolless, right? I just pulled pin. I can loosen. Whoops, that was the wrong one because I'm doing this upside down. I can loosen this gearbox, slide that right off, and grab my weed eater attachment. Slide this on. This might look familiar. This kind of looks like a combi connection, doesn't it? Well, that's basically what it is. Slide that on, tighten this wing knob like so, and I now have a wheeled trimmer. It's kind of funky, but let me tell you, if you have a problem walking and carrying a weed eater, this is a nice, easy way to trim around your property. Maybe you've got long fence rows and you just want to walk that fence row getting around it's a pretty slick thing so if you haven't checked out the steel mm56 yard boss it might be a good time to check it out they are in a little bit of short supply it's happening everywhere but check out the steel yard boss multiple attachments multiple implements that can make your yard care easier that set it apart from some of the other competitors what do you think what about this stands out to you. Is it the fact that I can put on a sweeper or an edger, or a weed eater? That's cool. I really like the uh, quick adjust wheels. I like the folding handle. I love this handlebar design. It's just comfortable to grab and go and to maneuver around. There you go, the steel MM56 Yard Boss. Is this the right tool for your property? Stop by Carl's Mower and Saw and let us help you find the right machine for your needs. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.